I got the showbiz bug early on, of course. The scripts were delivered every Friday afternoon for the next week's episode, and I was the first one to receive it. I would sneak that script up to my room and look at it for all of the female characters. But the only female character who recurred every week was Aunt B. So I practiced talking like her. Andy, Barney, there's a big basket of fried chicken and pickles and cornbread. Clara just loves my cornbread, don't you, Clara? Here's a picture of Dad with two other fathers from the neighborhood. Uh, that's me he's holding in his arms. He was already giving me my first acting lesson. He was telling me to act dry. <laughs> Naturally, I failed. Every Monday night, our family would gather in front of the TV set, just like the rest of the country, to watch the Andy Griffith Show. And it was amazing to watch Dad as Barney Fife. His performances were so perfect. It's as if Barney Fife was a real person. But I remember so many Sundays when Dad would lock himself away in his bedroom to rehearse his lines for the next week's episode. And of course, we kids were forbidden to disturb him. But I used to stand outside his bedroom door and listen, and it was amazing. And my brother Tom and I loved to pretend we were spies. And we equipped ourselves with all the latest secret weapons that you could obtain by cutting a box top off your favorite cereal and sending it along with 50 cents to a mysterious address with the letters P.O. <laughs> my father wouldn't let me have a bullet either.